we need food, right? We need a clean clothes, right? Keep fresh, yeah? Otherwise, we will be here, we will die, yes? So, so this is an interesting case, you know, called consumer product. Right, this this paper that produce many uh, uh, cleaning, foam cleaning, detergent, beauty, right? And uh, why is this case? It's a Germany, Germany company. Germany is a very interesting company. I spent uh, uh, three months there to start my global MBA, right? Yeah, they produce a very good products, in particular. Chemical, chemical products, this is the story. Uh, and also uh, the mechanical, the final machine, machine right? And um, so this is the one, this uh, number. Uh, so we want to satisfy the consumer products. For consumer products, right, we want to deliver it to your home, you, right? Yourself, right? You need to use it, yeah? Uh, of course, you need a food as well, yeah? You need a food to survive. Number one is food, right? And uh, then you have uh, agriculture. Anger, right? So, how to, you, you know, food from a farm to you, refrigerator, to your mouth, right? This is a supply chain management, yeah? And uh, this will be eventually fully digitalized. The big issue for us, the inflation, right? Everything is so high because the disruption uh, by COVID-19, you know, there's no farm to cultivate the food, or the food cannot be picked up by migrant workers from Mexico, from uh, you know, other country, right? So that's a, that's the problem, right? So eventually, you can see it's a lot of transformation that could happen use technology, yeah? And this, you guys should keep, keep eyes open because Canada is kind of agriculture country, yeah? They're all called food warehouse. It's a globally, right? Uh, the big issue for Canadian agriculture farmers, they're aging. The average Canadian farmer is 70 years old, right? So this might provide a pretty view, this digital transformation. You become a modern farmer, yeah? You know, you're not a traditional farmer. So you cut, you know, from the field, the grain, the vegetable, the cooking oil, right? The fruits. From there, how to automatically deliver your refrigerator, right? You wake up in the morning, you know, oh, my meal is a dog. My bread is a uh, three, right? It's very bad. Before that happened, everything delivery from field to supply chain to refrigerator, right? So my mission, you refrigerator, was not owned by you, owned by this, uh, you know, DoorDash, by Amazon, by, um, you know, the, you know, the dog. Kind of fresh, right? This kind of a method. That meant if you, and that can use technology, right? To detect your bread before they expire, they replace it. Just be, uh, uh, deliver it to food bank, yeah? And feed the hungry people immediately, yeah? And re replace by new fresh ones. You just pay the difference, nothing to waste, yeah? So this is a, a lot of opportunity. But for this case, is your uh, living, daily living, right? You need detergent, wash your dishes, wash your clothes, right? You need beauty, you know? So this area, um, it's a, the big issue is a lot of competition. But you guys say not much competition, right? For example, for detergent, what, which brand are you using? That's main brand you can make choice. Seventh generation. Yeah? You have seventh generation detergent? Yes. What do you generate for your detergent? Think about anyone, you don't know. Yeah, you don't know yes. what's your t-shirt, what's your uh, clothes, what's, what's your brand, you 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 right now? Uh, coach. Yeah, maybe, right? Tiger, 
and the cold water wash the book. I feel my mind was there, yeah? So you just well, probably same thing you pick up the first price, yeah? On sale things from Walmart, from a other channel, right? So the store, you pick up a lot of competition. So the cost is matter. The brand, of course. The cost to a lot of condition, a lot of opportunity you can make choice, right? So this is the case for this company in front of the uh, post industrial revolution and manufacture uh, mainly in the, in the Europe, in Germany, but also a lot of local manufacture there, right? And they face a lot of competition, yeah? And uh, so they want to, you know, how to put their uh, from manufacturer and distributor such you know, the detergent, the beauty product to your home, right? It's particularly the you know, detergent, right? They can predict when you will use out, yeah? They give you promotion. They want you to create the stickiness of their brand, right? So this is a matter about the, um, so the situation, yeah? So that is the, uh, the, the key thing for the number digital transformation initiative, initiative right? Use the you know five G, R G, and uh, of course uh, the digital manufacturing and supply chain management, right? All this one technology can be applied. Yeah. So this is a we may face a lot of big issue for supply chain, global supply chain disruption, right? That's why it's food very expensive. Everything getting expensive, right? And uh, the, the next uh, five years, there's a lot of uh, automation in supply chain management. Yeah, try to from uh, you know manufacture product to your to your home. All this process, right? Manufacture, uh, inventory, and delivery, the tracking, and to your final product. Yeah, yeah. So you eventually need that delivery to your home. Everything zero touch. No touch. You don't want to touch on the chemical, chemical right? Like the, the you know, detergent, the home cleaning, the washroom cleaning stuff, right? There's a very big, lot of automation going on. So this team uh, identified because they did a very good job already in front of the digital transformation, used the, uh, you know, all these uh, available technologies, right? So they basically, uh, that of issue, the, the, the people issue, right? That's what we talk about, right? They cannot catch up. We need to train, we train in the people's skills and uh, to uh, you know, continue to speed up this transformation and to compete on the brand and also the cost and also the efficiency of supply chain, right? And we have a, uh, I show you the video, right? For the t-shirt. If you have any problem for that, right? You can check to the manufacturer. You can switch the manufacturer from, you know, Germany to uh, Brazil or to India, right? Then continue to uh, continue to do supply chain, right? Same thing, you can apply that too, right? So I think that the solution is, uh, is good. I'd uh, love to see more detail about the chain management, okay? So the, the only concern about the competition in this product, right? Okay. Yeah, it should be very, very key because that's you. Yeah. Everything you have a choice. You can do it. You know, for me, I don't care. Anything on sale, I pick up, yeah? <laughs> right? That's why it's called uh, washing my clothes, yeah? That because of that, yeah? And uh, so this one, not a competition problem, okay? So you have a, you have a question, you could ask questions now. Uh, I had, I think so, uh, before, because when you talk about in your dashboard, like what kind of digitalization do you want to explain? Because like for you, you other partners, they're saying that they have a really good digitalization, like such a five So I would like to know specifically which kind of digitalization. Oh, I think you were referring to the issue that I mentioned, that they anticipate um, possible <coughs> problems in the future. So it's just, um, like the professor said, um, in the future there might be uh, a problem on how they will keep up on the changing trends in transformation. Oh, well, maybe when, when she say like about happiness, 
conditions could be in the future, right? Any other question for this case, please? Five marks for each question. <laughs> yeah. Any question? No? Otherwise, okay, great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, one more thing, because you guys have the last question. I want you guys, when you write the final report, and uh, write it clearly on the teacher tuning solution for supply chain, and give some more detail. And maybe that's a lot of improvement in this area. Yeah? Yeah, on the teacher tuning on supply chain management, right? Okay. So there's a lot going on. In, in four years we are moving in Germany, yeah? And uh, we can search some of the NVIDIA of this company. We have a big project in the other manufacturer, right? Trying to automate a lot of manufacturing of this, this digital tool. But basically, uh, you can, as a owner, you can travel around because all manufacturers are automated. In particular, the chemical, right? Nobody can touch it, right? So you can monitor remotely to see what's going on, what's quality, yeah? What's uh, uh, you know the art of fulfillment, right? How does it deliver it to the consumer, right? Everything will be meant by this tool, yeah. So I hope we can uh, specify this area like, more clear. Maybe uh, our new solution continue to improve that. Then plus change that. This will make you a one million dollar solution for this company. Yeah, otherwise, you know, I send you guys to Germany for the uh, CEO, right? <laughs> what did he say? No, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good? Yeah. Thank you. Get some questions. Okay, thank you again for Q4. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah. So this week we will uh, talk about the, the car, yeah? That's a lot of what the drop is do, yeah? Yeah? Very challenging, yeah? For four. I have a nice uh, one correctly, yeah? Cut me a lot of it. It gets me, yeah, the pocket, the big side, right? I always scratch some of it. I want to take you to EV, Tesla, yeah? Okay, so that's a uh, challenge for food as well, yeah? How this company will come on and survive. That's a life for that problem, but because of teaching transformation, yeah? I like to take my Tesla, I can uh, meet in there with my friends, Leave my wife, yeah, let the drive to me whatever I would love to do, right? Yeah, so driving technology is, is coming, right? And I, I, you, know, you guys don't have to own any car. Yeah. Even from there to be, you can uh, rob the taxi, right? That, that, that depends on your customization, right? You go on the honeymoon, the sales taxi for you, yeah? Sell the you on the car. You want to have a video, so maybe you can do it, right? This kind of thing, yeah? Same time in taxi, yeah? You don't need that car. In a taxi, yeah. the space, you know? You don't have to have garage. This society changed a lot. You don't need to waste a lot of space, parking space there. Each of the, 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 the basement, some of, sometimes in that building, the parking, yeah? All the space where we go, where we, you know, you don't have to own the car anymore. You need to in that part to be here. Okay, so this is a case for team uh, five. Okay, so let, let's uh, have a lecture, then I you know, try to promote your chat GPT, give you some demo. It's a lifetime experience for you guys. So today we main thing is a uh, uh, customer relationship management. Okay, so last week we talked about uh, supply chain. So the team for talk about supply chain. Now we talk about front end, you know, CIM, customer relationship management. So we talk about customer. Why right? you always pay attention? What's it for your customer? Yeah, what's that want? 
what the you know, consumption behavior, right? Then you try to satisfy them to sell product and services to make profit, to survive, right? And then we need a technology, software, manage them too, right? Mainly software, now it's AI to manage them. Then we talk about CIM technology, social CIM, yeah? And also analytical, uh, analytical CIM. Then we uh, give you some test on the uh, neural network. Then we focus on the chat GPT. How chat GPT apply for CIM, yeah? So this is a new generation uh, of customer, uh, can be you, right? Yeah? No? Manalisha used the uh, mobile phone, yeah? And uh, always with the love or money. <laughs> That's always a, a thing about it, right? Uh, globalized, yeah? If I don't know, marry with you, I marry with somebody else, yeah? <laughs> right? And uh, knowledge is everything, right? Not, not, uh, not anymore, right? Knowledge is everything, it's cheap, come from chat GPT. And uh, dot com and uh, word of the mouth, right? So this is word of mouth. Yeah, that's it's good. Yeah, you spread around on your, you know, Facebook, uh, Instagram, chat, uh, WeChat, right? Then you, oh, you close by my body. I buy this tomorrow. Right? It's like a social CRM. So this all this one is new generation customers. It's you, right? You impact by mobile phone, impact by money, impact by global, impact by knowledge, impact by word of mouth. Yeah. So, so how we deal with that? Yeah, first. <clears throat> So how a company uh, cope with this? So this is an example for you, right? So have you ever heard about uh, a robot taxi? Have you ever heard about robot taxi? No. No? No? No robot taxi? No. Okay, you know, computer search for robot taxi. Search, do a search, do a search. Or ask the chat GPT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Oh, it's pretty much now. This has been there almost uh, one year already. Rock taxi. Which which uh, city has given the license already? You can do this business, right? Yeah? They can move A from to B. Anyone can search for rock taxi? Which 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 city has given the first license in the world? The city just south of us. San Francisco. It's in the United States and in China. San Francisco. China is always full of USA. Yeah? <laughs> I don't know, but it's not really. Yeah. You always think of any. Yeah? Rock taxi. A lot of rock taxi. Yeah? Who are the main rock taxi form? Right? Like Google, Waymo, yeah? And uh, the GM. The Tesla, right? Yeah. So suppose after this course, you think of this big opportunity. You want to start this business here, yeah? You know, you have some money. You can lease some of the car from a, from a Tesla, yeah? And uh, delivery services, right? So how do you get a new customer? How do we acquire a new customer? Any idea, right? Yeah? For example, from the phone, from here, you, you can take rock taxi. Yes? On the phone, to Toronto, you can buy a rock taxi. Yeah, buy right for you, right? So, how do you get your customer? Of course, you need the license for the picture, right? And that is a big issue, yeah? Well, literally, the, you know, we are just north of San Francisco, we literally will have a license here, yeah? yeah? But how do you start business? So any idea how to get a new customer if you have this, this business? For example, you have 10 of this long taxi. Operation. Airline and hotel. Yeah, the hotel. Yeah, it's partner with that. Yeah. Just study the market. Yeah. Study the target, you know, which probably will be the Yeah. The most probably. 
Yeah. Yeah. So how people are you going to get this taxi? Let's let's drop taxi tomorrow from uh, from your home to here. Yeah. Yeah, are you going to? Yeah? No. Are you trusted trust this technology? Yeah? Yeah? Right? So you need to be happy, right? Make sure it's safe. Try some famous actor actress. Give free ride. Then put on TV. No problem. Yeah? Yeah? Put in the social network, you know, advertising. You can, you can take this one, you get a, you know, uh, tools for free. It's signing the one month. Yeah? Give a special discount, right? Yeah? And um, you need some, uh, some trust, right? From this, yeah? From, you can use the TV advertising, social media, and up your child is good, very good, yeah? You can put them out, like a super level, right? Yeah, you can get coupons, right? So basically, you have uh, many, many ways to do uh, um, such, uh, <coughs> you know, marketing. You obtain customers, free trial for two weeks, then you sign up for you know, four months, right? And uh, you know, align with the airline for morning delivery to airport. Yeah, but you know, with UCW, yeah, they got a discount, yeah, right? And the problem with the insurance company, make sure it's, it's fine, yeah? You know, protected by uh, BC Auto, right? Insurance, yeah? Okay? So there's many ways to, to get your customer. So this area, you should focus, uh, right? Think about it, yeah? This is why we're coming very soon, okay? And this is why we're changing our society, right? The parking space, the air pollution, Everything, right? So that is the team five to talk about more. So digital marketing, wow. Have you anybody take digital marketing course yet? Yeah? You should take that one course, yeah? So this is all you have learned, right? You know, use the email marketing, website, use the uh, medium, use the uh, social media, use the blog, it's a viral video, right? All this matter, campaign, digital marketing, right? Yeah. And nowadays you can use the chat GPT to help you. Yeah. Give you some idea for you special case. Yeah. Get a lot of idea. Then you just implement it. Okay. What you what, how to promote your services, robot taxi services. So just uh, just imagine, right? The future the. Manufacture supply chain is automated by digital tree, right? And a uh, lot of products, a lot of manufacturers ready to do something what you, you want to do. So the CIM, how to obtain customers, is very important, right? Yeah, that's why all of you should take digital marketing course, even if like, you will not do it in the next term. Yeah? This will give you uh, the, 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 the skills to increase sales, right? And um, so this is a big market for uh, digital marketing. Well, CIM is, a, is kind of a technology software yeah, so to support you know, digital marketing. And uh, the famous one, and one of the leading provider called Salesforce.com. Have anybody used Salesforce.com, right? So what did you use for Salesforce.com? So in, the, in my previous organization, this was uh, the central CRM. So we yeah. used to use it to manage customer profile, generate leads, uh, also execute contracts. Then it supports salespeople, yeah? You know, get contact, make phone call, right? What's your pipeline? Yeah, you yourself, right? You bought, what was the first thing? How many sales, yeah? And what's your prospective customer? You have to spend the time, if you're not in the office, right? Spend the time with the customer. Get contract, get customer, right? Yeah. So this can support your everything. Yeah. And from a, a perspective, contact on uh, this uh, uh, order, yeah, and order fulfillment, everything. They also have other one like Microsoft, like uh, SAP. Also have a CIM, and also Microsoft have a CIM, right? And uh, they also have a Sugar CIM. It's free software too, right? <laughs> yeah. And the leading one is Salesforce.com in the Silicon Valley. By the way, Salesforce.com also own a Tableau. Yeah, the Tableau you have used yes. before. Yeah, they also owned by Salesforce.com. 
So the CIM objective is basically simple. Acquire customer. Yeah? Where you get customer for my robot taxi? Yeah? It's always difficult to to test the crabs, right, in first time. Have you heard this saying? Yeah? Then after get a customer, you need to retain them. You don't want to jump, jump around, right? Yeah? Particularly for the, the, the telephone, yeah? The customer, yeah? Which operator are you using? Roger. Roger, right? So for each of them, spend $50, you know, for the advertising, social reading, get to right? And how much do you pay per month? Uh, just pay. Fifty dollars. Yeah. 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 Yeah, in the previous to my, my course for PSI security, right? We used the data analysis, how to retain such customers, right? Before they quit, right? And uh, you you offer them something, yeah? We do the price. Customer retention. Uh, most importantly, we need to enhance profitability, yeah? For example, now I make a $20 from her, yeah? I want to retain her, and I want to make more money from you, how, how can I? Uh, offer me better plans, you know, yeah. bring me um, like more. So you call everything, you don't die, yeah, you get it, you know, $80. Now, I offer you uh, TV something, you know, next TV, CTV, yeah, I want that $10, yeah. I'll offer you a front bottle, right? Yeah, it's called, you know, Make you have your community from the same customer, right? Yeah. yeah. Offer more, more things. Okay? So CIM acquires, retain, enhance probability. Okay? So how? So there's a, a, a measure called RFM. Yeah? For every customer, you ask three questions. How recently this customer pay you? For example, the Walmart, right? Oh, he come to, you know, yesterday. Quite different he come from last month, right? Way different from last year, yeah? And how frequently, how often she come to this store, yeah? It's frequent. How much she spend to you? So use this one, you can segment. What's your major customer? If she come to very often, and she come recently, and she spend, you know, every time, you know, over one hundred dollars, right? That is your key customer. Yeah. How to acquire customer, right? Netflix. Are you you watching Netflix? Yes. Yeah? Yes. So how to watch your next movie? I didn't get the question. How? Which movie are you going to watch? Oh. Next for tonight. Probably yeah. no movies. <laughs> <laughs> no movies. So we're right? in silence. Yeah, like yeah. I you never heard. You pay uh, $90, right? I remember, yeah? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You didn't pay it? Oh, God. Yeah. So if you guys right, you get a social media, right? Oh, this is hard, 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 right? You want to watch it. Or you get a recommendation from uh, Netflix, right? Yeah. You click it. Yeah? So this way you can go to, you know, watch the next movie. Otherwise, after two months, you never watch. You have cancer. Yeah? You are. You are